Hi, in this tutorial we are going to take a closer look on a very uh, nice Python library called a barbershop. Basically we are taking a one image and we can choose another face image of a hairstyle and a color and create and blend it all together and create a, a new image. Uh, we can see a, another example, we can take two images so one would be for the for the styling of the hair and the next one for the color of the hair and we can merge it uh, all together so in this tutorial we're going to do a step by step in order to achieve this uh, outcome once again a very wonderful uh, python library i will leave uh, an instruction uh, text text file in my github how to do all these steps and uh, first of all uh, I will show you the, the, the result. You can see several examples of uh, basically taking an original image as in the left upper corner and we are changing the style of the image and the color of the, of the hair. A very nice uh, looking uh, Python uh, library. Okay, so let's start. As always, I'm going to leave uh, an install guide uh, in my github uh, library it's called install the txt and there is also a requirement txt in order to to run it on a, on a windows machine and i'm going to uh, leave uh, another folder a demo folder that will have all these uh, all these images so uh, first phase we are going to to git clone the the library it's called the barbershop and of course this would be our working uh, directory Next, we are going to create a Conda environment. Uh, it will be based on uh, Python 3.7. So let's run the command and then uh, activate this, uh, this environment as our working environment, as our current environment. Okay, next we are going to uh, to install the, the PyTorch so in order to you can see there is a CUDA 11.3 and CUDA 10 let's see what is our CUDA version this is the, the command nvcc minus minus version I have a CUDA 11 so let's copy uh, the command for the um, CUDA 11 and of course the last uh, PyTorch uh, version which is uh, 11 uh, version 11 uh, for now so let's run it uh, i will skip all the this process so uh, let's do a fast forward and finish the installation of a uh, pytorch Okay, next uh, please use uh, my uh, requirements uh, text file. Um, let's copy all these files to our working directory. And uh, now we can, uh, we can run the Python command for uh, the requirements, uh, for installing the, the requirements uh, Python uh, libraries. Okay, once again, pip, pip install, a minus r, and the requir requirements uh, dot txt. It will install several Python uh, uh, required libraries in order to run this uh, barbershop uh, library. Thank you. 
Okay, another important Python library is the, the Dlib. Dlib has the ability to, to detect a face or, or dots around the face. Some, sometimes the pip install of the Dlib is not working, so I'm recommended uh, to use this uh, command conda install uh, uh, minus c conda fog uh, Dlib. It's, uh, it works better. So, uh, and next we are going to pip install um, another, um, le let's, let's say it's, it's not only a pip install, it's include downloading uh, this uh, clip AI library. So, um, don't forget to run it as well. I have a syntax error, but I fixed it. So, run this command as well. It's part of the installation. Next, we are going to download um, lots of uh, face image. I will leave in the installation uh, file uh, this uh, link. It's a link for, for a Google, uh, a Google Drive. And so download this uh, face images and you should copy it to, to our working uh, directory. So I'm extracting this uh, library this uh, zip file basically and I'm copy it to the input folder and to the face folder inside the input folder so after this uh, extracting the zip file and copy the the face images we are ready to to start our journey with the creating a, a new faces and a new hair styling So you can see there are many types of images, many types of hairstyle. You can uh, discover all the images. So let's pick one. Let's take uh, this image and that image as well, these two images. And let's take a third image. And basically we are taking this, uh, the original images would be the left one and the next two one would be the the shape of the of the hair and the next one will be the hair the, the color of the hair so now we are going to to run the the, the this inference uh, model we are going to to get to send the the the, fir the first argument it would be the the faces uh, folder which is input face and the next argument would be our uh, original image and this would be let's see the the name of the image it's an uh, image called uh, 90.png this will be our original image and the next two arguments would be the shape of the hair and the color of the hair. Okay, so we are ready. Let's run it. Uh, I'm going to do it uh, several times. So in the first time, I will uh, leave it to run. So you compare the results and you compare all the process to, to your local machine. And basically we are going to do um, more examples using your own images. So as for now, let's leave it to, to run and wait for the, for the result.
Okay, it's about uh, to finish. So let's see the, the result. So this is our input face. Let's go to the output uh, folder and we can see there is uh, one image which is the, the result. This image is basically our original image. However, please see the change. The, the girl is not blonde, has a different uh, shape of hair and a different color of the hair. So let's continue for the next example. In the next example, we are going to take our own image and in order to run this model in our, in our image, first to, we have to pre-process pre the, the image. So this is would be our example and I'm going to copy this image to a unprocessed folder and let's delete the, the previous image. And now after copy this image, we are going to type this uh, code python align underscore face, face uh, dot py. Uh, it's going to run uh, some weights. And after uh, this process uh, is finished, it will basically copy to the input face, the same input face. Let's go to the last uh, image and we basically are going to find our image. Uh, you can see that uh, it's focused on center on, on our image and it changed the shape to 1024 on 1024. Next, we are going to choose another image. Let's take uh, this blonde as our um, template. And we are going uh, to change as ori original image, it would be our uh, our image, our custom image, and uh, this blonde girl that change uh, the two other arguments, which is the shape and the color of the hair, let change it to this image and run the model again. Once again, I'm going to run it on a fast forward and let's see the result. Okay, it's about uh, to finish and now let's see the result. It would be in the output uh, folder. So this is the result. And once again, may I remind you in the right, it's the original image. And let's see, uh, this is the shape of the, shape of the hair and the color of the hair. And you can see it's a very nice uh, result. Let's see another example and in this example we are going to choose one image for the shape of the hair and one image for the color of the hair. Okay, so this would be our uh, third image. So let's uh, change the, the last argument for the name of the, of the image, of the name of, of the file. And once again, we are going to run the model in a fast for the process and let's wait for the result. Okay, the, the process uh, finished. Let's see once again the outcome and the, the images that uh, participate the process. So this is the one image, the original, and the next two images, one for the color and one for the shape. And let's see it all together. We can see it's a very wonderful result, a very wonderful uh, Python library. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You are, you are most welcome to subscribe my channel. Bye bye.